Right friends, welcome back to 18th week facts and figures. The first one is Madhya Pradesh became the first state in the country to announce a shifting of its financial year format to January December from the present April March and we deliberated in many capsule. Literally it is not possible for any state government to change the financial year. There are several aspects in this, all the aspects we deliberated. Second one is a national occasional education and training system should be another stream for class 10 students. A committee of Sharda Prasad, Sharda Prasad committee was a set up to review, rationalize and optimize the functioning of industry led and governed sector skill councils and the report is in the public domain and there are two, three aspects. First and foremost aspect is here for class 10 students, a separate stream must be available, vocational education and training system that must be the separate stream. Second point is the report also called for review of the functioning of NSDC. What is NSDC? NSDC is National Skill Development Corporation that is public private partnership and here NSDC has not followed any standard criteria for creation of sector skill councils. Sometimes sector skill councils are increased with several overlapping jurisdictions. Right. Then look at the next one. First IPO for infrastructure investment trusts. This is the first invite in the country infrastructure investment trust here the money is collected and invested in the real estate assets and here by IRB infrastructure developers. So, IRB infrastructure developers became the first in the country to go for IPO under infrastructure investment trust. Then one more point is the minimum unit size is kept as rupees 10 lakhs and here the money is invested in real estate assets and if the value of the property increases then the unit value will increase and one predominant aspect of this infrastructure investment trusts is the money is to be invested predominantly in the revenue generating assets. Then if you look at the next one, the updated FIFA world football rankings. In the updated rankings, Indian national team managed to secure 100th spot and in the year 1996, India got the rank below 100 and after 21 years, India reached into the top 100. This is about FIFA rankings and Indian football team. Look at the next one. World's highest railway bridge is going to come up on Chinab River. And here the height of the bridge is 359 meters and the height of Eiffel Tower is 324 meters. So, this is higher by 35 meters in comparison to the Eiffel Tower and second point is it is coming up on Chenab River, it is coming up in Jammu and Kashmir and it is a part of Udhampur, Srinagar, Baramulla rail link project and this will be an arch bridge and another important aspect is after completion this will surpass the record of Baipan river related railway bridge in China which is at a height of 275 meters. Look at the next one, Federal Reserve of United States of America, please do not forget Federal Reserve is the central bank of USA, it has not increased the interest rates during its recent monetary policy. In the previous monetary policy, it increased the quarter point and now it maintained the status quo and now across the world, the monetary policy as well as fiscal policy of United States of America is keenly watched. Look into the next one, Army carried out a successful test of advanced Brahmos block 3 land attack cruise missile in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Four or five important points from examination perspective. One is Brahmos is the joint collaboration between India and Russia. 
I think many of you may know this. Second important aspect is this Brahmos can be launched from four ways. You can say it can be launched from land. At the same time, it can be launched from sea. It can be launched from subsea. What is the meaning of subsea? Subsea means it is from submarine. Then the fourth one is it can be launched from air. So, if someone is talking about Brahmos, it has got the capability of launch from any of these four types and it can be launched against the surface and sea based targets. And the second very important point from examination perspective is the previous range was 290 kilometers and now India became member of MTCR. What is the meaning of MTCR? MTCR means Missile Technology Control Regime. As India became member of MTCR, the range of these missiles can be increased. So, now the range has been extended to 450 kilometers and there is a plan that they will further go up to 600 kilometers. So, this is all about Brahmos. Look at the next one. India successfully launched a South Asia satellite and three, four important points I would like to tell you. This is South Asia satellite excludes Pakistan in SARC. So, out of the remaining seven countries, India will get six KU transponders and remaining six countries will get one transponder each and the weight of the South Asia satellite is 2230 kilograms and this has got 12 KU transponders I have already told you and it is a telecommunication satellite and it can be used for telecommunication, disaster management, broadcasting, direct to home TV, internet activities like that and here another important aspect is this was uh, launched by GSLV. This is the fourth successive GSLV flight powered by indigenously made cryogenic stage engine, right? So, here this cryogenic experiment is being evolved for the past two decades and two, three points please do not forget this only satellite costs rupees 235 crores and the entire project costs rupees 450 crore and it is the gift from India to SARC countries except Pakistan. India's first private sector small arms manufacturing plant. This was inaugurated in Madhya Pradesh. This is the joint venture between Punj Lloyd Group as well as Israeli weapons systems. So, Punjaloid group as well as Israeli weapon systems, they came together to jointly launch India's first private sector small arms manufacturing plant in Madhya Pradesh. What are the types of products? The types of products are assault rifles, Galil sniper rifle, Tavor assault rifle like that and look at the next one. Russia, Iran and Turkey signed a deal for creating safe zones in Syria. The pact was signed in Kazakhstan's capital Astana. Please look into this. Syria, Syria government is supported by Iran and Russia. Syrian government is supported by Iran and Russia. Whereas, the rebel forces are supported by western countries along with Turkey. So, now in the peace process, Turkey is also included and around 2 million people are suffering in the rebel held towns. So, because of this peace process by the creation of safe zones, now I think the 2 million people will have some reprieve, right? Look into the next one. The Union Cabinet granted international airport status for the Vijayawada airport and it is a part of capital region of Andhra Pradesh and the Union Cabinet took a decision to launch this international airport status. India and Turkey have signed three agreements following delegation level talks between Prime Minister of India and Turkish President. Here one important aspect is the bilateral trade between both the countries is around 6 billion dollars 
and the, both the countries uh, set the target to reach 10 billion dollars by 2020 and another important aspect is uh, all is uh, not well when you look at Turkey and India and Turkey relations are somewhat going down because of various reasons we deliberated in the mini capsule. Human Resources Development Minister launched Vidya Virta Abhiyan. What is the meaning of Vidya Virta Abhiyan? The meaning of Vidya Virta Abhiyan is the portraits of Param Veer Chakra decorated soldiers. Param Veer Chakra decorated soldiers, the portraits will be unveiled in universities and educational institutions across the country. And the wall of heroes depicting portraits of brave soldiers who showed exemplary bravery in defending the nation is expected to instill a sense of patriotism and nationalism among students. So, Parambir Chakra is India's highest military decoration awarded to officers or enlisted personnel from all the branches of Indian military for displaying distinguished act of valor during the war time. So, this is very important. This Parambir Chakra is the highest military decoration for the distinguished act of valor during the war time and it can be granted to any branch of Indian military, right? Then the next one is government owned IDBI bank was placed under watch list by Reserve Bank of India following a surge of bad loans. Here one important aspect is several public sector banks may also come under RBI's watch list. Here central bank initiated this action in view of high non-performing assets. Second one is negative return on assets. These two important aspects. Here banks come under RBI's watch list if their net non-performing assets raise over 6 percent and previously similar corrective action was taken by the Reserve Bank of India over United Bank of India as well as Indian Overseas Bank and the banks come under watch list when there are losses for two years in succession and their capital adequacy is below statutory level, right. So, these are all the conditions under which a bank can come under watch list. So, this is known as a prompt corrective action plan by the Reserve Bank of India and here IDBA has to take measures to conserve capital and one more important aspect as far as the banking system is concerned in April Reserve Bank of India has said that if a bank's common equity tier 1 capital falls below 3.625 percent then the bank could be either amalgamated with other bank or merged or taken over by another entity, right. So, here IDBA bank, it appears that there are some problems associated with this bank. World's largest solar park with 1000 megawatt capacity is coming up in Karnul district of Andhra Pradesh. This is known as Karnul Ultra Solar Park. The previous record was held by Adani Park in Tamil Nadu. Previously, it was 645 megawatt in Tamil Nadu. Now, the present park will have 1000 megawatt capacity and it is spread across 5811 acres in Karnul district of Andhra Pradesh. Then Apple became the first US company to top 800 billion in market capitalization and 800 billion dollars market capitalization could be achieved partly due to the improved market conditions and the second important aspect is Apple has resorted to share buyback. It has bought around 21 percent of the shares from the market. So, the availability of shares reduced and share prices surged. So, share buyback is one particular reason and the second one is general euphoria over the market conditions. Because of these two reasons, Apple became the first US company to top 800 billion 
dollar mark in market capitalization. Chulan Nishit Goswami from West Bengal became Indian women's team's fast bowler to take highest wicket taker in the history of women's one day international cricket. She broke the record of Australian cricketer. Previous record was Australian cricketers 180 wickets. Now, when she dismissed South Africa's Racy Tozake to claim the 181st wicket, right? So, now the Indian women cricket team's fast bowler Julan Nishit Goswami became the highest wicket taker in the history of women's ODI cricket. Maharashtra government recently imposed a ban on the sale of high in fat, salt and sugar HFSS foods. Maharashtra imposed a ban on HFSS foods in the school canteens across the state. So, junk food is the prime reason for several diseases and it listed 12 categories like carbonated soft drinks, noodles, burgers, pizzas, cakes and these cannot be sold in the school canteens and this is as per Maharashtra government order. Next one is, it also gave a list of items which can be sold. Then the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India constituted a technical committee headed by R. P. Burman to give the recommendations for laying down technical standards for the performance of core services. What are the core services? Core services are just like API, Application Programming Interface, Standard Terms of Service, Registration of User, Unique Identifier for each record and each user. So, for developing them, one committee was constituted. Eminent Jurist, Justice Retired Leela Seth passed away recently and she was the first woman Chief Justice when she became the Chief Justice of Himachal Pradesh High Court. At the same time, she was the first woman judge of Delhi High Court also and she was also the member of Justice Verma Committee which was constituted to recommend amendments to criminal laws subsequent to Nirbhaya incident in Delhi. Right? So, with this let us conclude today's facts and figures. So, please view other modules especially civil services revision as well as questions and answers. Have a nice day. Thank you.